what's going on youtube welcome to the 56th episode of the top 10 sports cards polls of the week presented by myself ian of if sports cards i have a ton of fun doing this for you guys and i am super happy to see we're getting like a thousand likes a video which is super cool hovering around 30k views so if you guys have friends out there please spread the word and keep clicking that like button to get this in the eyes of other people in the hobby i'm sure they'd enjoy this i know you guys do and uh, i enjoy putting it together for you guys but we have another epic list. It takes a $10,000 poll to make the top 10 polls of the week. I didn't think it was going to be that high, but right at the last second, I got that final 10K card. But as always, I'll show a few uh, a few that didn't quite make that five-figure amount that you guys will also enjoy to see. A lot of cool reactions, a lot of really nice polls. And uh, without further ado, let's check them out. Kicking off our honorable mentions this week is Triple H Breaks over on YouTube. He's also part of the Cardboard Legends group here. You can see in the top left corner. And he's opening 2021 Contenders Optic Football. Come on. Tampa Bay. Oh, sh Oh, my God. Holy sh Oh my God. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Ryan Hole. You are kidding me. Holy sh Oh my God. Well, I'm not sure how well you can see that. <laughs> this video doesn't have the greatest quality, but it is a Tom Brady gold vinyl one of one. You can see Tom there is a, a cool 6'4 and 225 pounds. If you look in the front of the card, that's what those three numbers mean. Number, height, and weight, if you did not know. I got this at $3,000, and that's just based on looking at what other Tom Brady one of ones uh, raw sales have been at. Our next honorable mention is from Jaspie's Case Breaks over on YouTube, and they're actually coming live to us from the National in this particular poll. This is from 2021 Eminence Football. Two more to go. Then we have a one of one Drew Brees, Ooh, which is a nice. very nice Troy Allen Silver for Super Bowl win. And there's the silver. one of one right there. That's a very nice one there, future Hall of Famer. We have some Drew Brees nastiness here with the Super Bowl Royalty Signatures Platinum Bar 1 of 1. I got this one at about $3,500 based on some other high-end Drew Brees 1 of 1 sales, but this thing's pretty sick, and we have more coming from this product, you better believe. Our third honorable mention comes from Shiga Sports over on YouTube, and they're opening 2021 Donruss Optic Football. Good luck, guys. Black Pandora downtown. It is not a rookie. Anyone have a lobster? A lobster? <laughs> what? Back! Uber. shag has got that meditation music going on in the background i'm digging it but this is awesome i love how he said it's not a rookie he didn't see that rookie shield <laughs> it completely took him by surprise uh this one here the black pandora downtown these are numbered out of 25 and i have this at six thousand dollars which is in line with the last sale on ebay and the lowest buy it now price currently available on ebay and our final honorable mention for this week comes from Bullpen LA over on Instagram, and they're opening 2019 Flawless Football. Yes, this one's been marinating for a, a little while. Check this out. All right. I mean, that'll do. How about an Adidas tag signature glove, five of five. Patty the Batty. Five of five. That's a nasty card right there. The Patrick Mahomes signature gloves. 
5 out of 5. I assume it's a blue color. I forgot to check. But I got this one at $6,500 based on some of Patrick's other flawless sales on eBay. But that does it for our honorable mentions. It's time to check out these five-figure cards this week. Well, based in my estimation. Kicking us off at number 10 this week, we are with the Card Shop Evansville and this poll actually comes from an app called Card Shop Live. I've never heard of it, but Will sent this to me on Instagram, so that's where I'm showing it to you. But if you click the link in the description box below, it'll take you to the Card Shop Evansville Instagram page. Anyway, this is from 2022 Tops Definitive Baseball. Framed. Oh my God, guys. Wander Franco! Rookie! One of one! Andrew! Andrew! <laughs> Congratulations to Andrew. Holy cow. This is the framed autograph red one of one. I got this at about $10,000. And that's based on his out of 10 from this product selling for about 2K. But what a beauty. At number nine this week, we were with Alex, who is just a collector like you and I, opening a personal box of 2021 Topps Luminaries. This is one of the craziest cards I have ever seen. This card has 70 autographs from players of all different eras of baseball. I mean, look at this. I'm not going to go through each one. If you want to pause and look at this list, it is incredible. It's a shame Alex had to give us the silent treatment because it was late at night. He didn't want to wake his family up or else he said he would have reacted like a teenage girl at a Backstreet Boys concert in the late 90s. Actually, I just put those words in his mouth, but this is nuts. When you look at uh, some of these booklet autos with multiple players, they usually don't sell for more than two or $3,000, but I got to guess that this one's at least 10000 I don't know. What do you guys think this card is worth? It is insane regardless. And number eight, we're with Layton Sports Cards over on YouTube, and they're opening 2021 Flawless Football. Y'all heard me right before I, I opened the, the box. Well, we got one, baby. We got a, we didn't get just a shield. We've got NFL shield, rookie, auto, quarterback, Niners, Trey Lance, boom! David G with the Lance NFL shield, booklet one of one. Let's go, Niners with the huge hit. I already know what you guys are thinking. I got this NFL Shield booklet of Trey Lance at $12,000. That's based on two of his out of 10 booklets selling for $1,600 and $1,700 on eBay. But you guys just say, you're telling me you'd rather have this over the 70 players? Eh, probably not. I don't know, but... I don't decide what things sell for, but this is a crazy cool card regardless. And you know me, I'm a big Trey Lance fan. At number seven, we are with Dominic DeWitt, who is a breaker over on Facebook. Uh, YouTube Card World actually posted this video on their YouTube though, which is what I'm showing you here and which the link below will take you to. This is a poll from 2021 Donruss Optic Football. Ken, Tylen Wallace. Ooh, it's emerald. We got an emerald. Ooh, that's a good number. Ooh, damn. <laughs> damn, boy. <laughs> 
I like his little giggle. That was funny. This is a Emerald Rated Rookie Auto of Mac Jones, number four out of five. I got this at $14,000, which is a little bit of a guess because the closest comp from this year's optic is a Zach Wilson out of five selling for $5,000. At number six, we are back with Jaspi's Case Breaks over on YouTube. And again, they're opening 2021 Eminence Football at the National. You guys are probably thinking, hey, Ian, I already saw this card. Well, look what came right after it. And here we go, last one, I think. Ooh, wow. the nice Wow. Little oh, Trevor Ooh. Lawrence, fine silver, six of ten. That's a nice way to end it off right there. T-Law. That's nice. Dude, that was right in the middle. Game. They're all going to be not. They're all going to be crazy. That is crazy. This is the Trevor Lawrence NFL Shield Autographs Silver Bar, 6 out of 10. I got this at $14,500, which is in line with where his flawless RPA out of 10 sold for on eBay. But there's just not a lot of eminent sales yet. This is the first year they've had it as a football product. So, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see to see where these big cards from this product sell for. At number five this week, we are with Pirates Card Castle over on Instagram. And they're opening 2020 Topps Chrome Sapphire F1. I apologize. The video quality on this one is a little grainy. But you will see the card. Don't worry. Come on. Yo! Come on, come on, Eric, get over here. Come on, we got Marcus Armstrong. No one cares. Right, Pedro go. PK, get the, get the camera out. Get the camera out. Get the camera out. We're live at trade night. Let's hey, Ju, I think go. you pulled a you pulled like a purple variation or something. I did. What do we hit here? Lewis Hamilton. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Cactus car. I feel like it's been a little bit since we've had a nice F1 poll, but here is a Lewis Hamilton variation purple out of Sapphire out of 10. This is a sick looking card. I got this at $15,000 with the closest comp that I could find being a BGS 9 gold out of 50 that sold for $12,500 on eBay, but that sale was over a month ago. I'm still rolling with it. At number four this week, we are with Zach over at Wax Hub breaking on Facebook. This is a poll from 2021 Eminence Football. We got one last card. And I didn't see it, so I don't know what it is. Last card of the break. Only 10 cards. A lot of you are going to skunk. I'm sorry. Appreciate the support. Flawless is on deck. Last card up. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. One of two, 14 karat gold, Mac Daddy Jones, baby. That is a sick card, too. Oh, my goodness. The NFL Shield Autographs Gold Bar, this Eminence product, is just incredible. You heard them, 10 cards, and I think... I think these are like $20,000 for the 10 cards. Just incredible. But I got this one at $35,000. There is a T-Law and Zach Wilson version of this card currently at eBay auction. But unfortunately, those sales are going to end after I record this. So I just kind of have to use those cards at where they're at as a gauge for this one. But I do want to mention that Lil Pullman actually pulled the two of two of this same exact Mac Jones card this week as well. Therefore, there are no more of these sitting in any eminence boxes. At number three, we're with Mamba Cards over on Instagram and they're opening the same product, 2021 Eminence Football. Our last card mojo, guys. We need a banger. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a one-on-one. Oh my God, it's a one-on-one. Oh! Shield, 
This card is nasty. The Trevor Lawrence NFL Shield Diamond Signatures, one of one. I got this one at $40,000. Again, using Flawless as kind of a gauge, his Flawless out of five RPA has sold for about $30,000. So I got this one 10K above that one. At number two, we are with Tommy who posted this video of his personal eminence break over on Wax Hub's Facebook page. <laughs> he one-ups everyone and he does it while, I don't know if that's his pool, if that's a river, what is in the background, but Tommy is doing it right. Check out what he was able to pull out of this product. Y'all see that name right there? Y'all see the name? Mac Daddy, Patriots. Based on that color, based on the color alone, that should be a one on one. Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! <laughs> Woo! One, one, one. To the fucking moon, baby! Daddy's on a heater. <laughs> Daddy's on a real heater right now. <laughs> I would say. And he has his girl and his pooch with him. I mean, what a great day ripping some football cards. <laughs> this is this is nutty. I got this one at $45,000, which is just 5000 more than where we had the T-Law. You just saw it number three. Again, I can't wait to see where these cards sell for. It could be, I mean, if you look at National Treasures RPAs, they sell for a ton of money. Maybe these are worth way more than where I have them now, but... Only time will tell, but we have one better than this. Let's see what it is. At number one, we are with Catch Sports Cards and they're opening 2021 National Treasures Basketball. CC Colossal Material. And there we have it, folks. LeBron James, Colossal Logo Man. This is a 101. It's right there in his crotch area. You can barely see it, but it is there. I got this one at an estimated $150,000. The closest comps I could find were a 2014 and 2016 versions of LeBron's Colossal Logo Man that sold over at Golden Auction. The 2014 being 75K and the 2016 only 40K, but those were numbered to three. I don't know why, but they changed it to a one of one now, and this thing is magnificent. What a beautiful card this is. My goodness. And I got to give a shout out and a thank you to Pangzai, which the link in the description box below will take you to his Instagram where this video is posted. But my goodness, what a poll. And as always, we're going to take a peek into what new products are going to come out next week. But unfortunately, you know, for the big three sports at least, not a lot going on. We got, uh, we got some hockey, we got some soccer, and we got some WWE coming out in the course of the next week. So maybe it won't take a $10,000 poll next week. But if you guys see something pulled over the course of the next week, you should be on the next episode please send me a link to that video or send me the video. I have my email DMs in the description box right down below. So please check that out if you do see something. I greatly appreciate your guys' help making these. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what your favorite reaction was this week. And uh, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button. We will see you guys next week on the top 10 polls of the week. Until then, you guys be smart, be safe, and be humble. Ian out.